Isotope's RX plugin is amazing, but let's be real, it's very CPU heavy. If you've ever tried running multiple instances of that plugin inside Ableton Live, you'll know the pain. It'll make your CPU meter spike, audio glitch, and all the fans kick in on your computer. That's because it's been designed to be more of a standalone editor than a plugin you have running constantly in Ableton Live. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to use something called the default sample editor to help you edit your samples in Ableton Live in the standalone RX plugin. We'll get the two programs talking to each other and this will ensure that you not only save CPU but protect your sessions from crashing ever again. Let's jump into it and see how all this works. So to set this up you're going to need to go to your settings. You do this by clicking command comma or control comma on Windows. You want to go to the file folder tab in the settings and go to sample editor. Click browse, go to applications list, scroll down to find Isotope RX. Click on it and press open. That has now been installed as our default sample editor. Now we just need to click into the sample to access the editor. So we close this down, double click on the sample you wish to edit. So this is a vocal take that I want to edit. I double click on the sample, go down to this magic little edit button and check this out. Boom, it's opened it up inside RX as a standalone plugin. Now I can do all my editing to the vocals here, render it and send it back into Ableton Live. So let's see how we do that. I'm going to go up to this breath control here. I'm going to preview it. Let me know. Why don't you come and get me? Great. Then I press render. That's done. Let's do some D clicks. Let's render that as well. Now that has rendered those changes to the original sample. Let's now go up to RX, go to file and go overwrite original file. Now this will completely change the original. If you're not 100% confident you want to make those changes, what you can do is you can go into Ableton Live and just before you do all this, press command D, duplicate the file and then this one up here we're just going to press command j what this does is it consolidates the file and it basically creates a new file so if you look up here we have audio 2 1 that's the name of this sample that lives in the samples folder in ableton live and this one here we have 2 audio 1 and we have a new file here so we still have protected the original and we can go ahead and edit this one in isotope so now i'm going to go file overwrite original file and it's done. So let's hear our new and improved vocal in the mix. No, why don't you come and get me? Let's put some effects on. Don't take it slow. So that's how you use Isotope's RX the smart way in Ableton Live. Now tuning vocals is only one small part of vocal production. To find out how you would create a professional sounding vocal chain with only Ableton Live stockings, stockings, <laughs> stock plugins, click on this video here. Even get a free download. So I'll see you there. Bye for now. Stockings. <laughs> Ableton Live stockings. Oh wow. That's a new one.